Hi, and welcome to JustCollect.com. Thanks for joining us today. We have for you um, some highlights from a collection we've recently bought. Several hundred uh, cards, football, baseball, uh, from the 50s and 60s. Um, as you can see here, we've got Willie Stargell, rookie, 63, Clemente, Koufax, uh, 1960, Mickey Mantle. Most of the key cards were already in these screw downs. Um, 62 Mantle, some 61 high number all stars, Aaron, Maris, Mays, Mantle. Um, Yastrzemski, rookie from 1960. Roger Maris, rookie from 58. Probably the big card in here. There's a Nolan Ryan, but probably the biggest card here is the uh, Pete Rose rookie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the row. Actually, I'll take the rose out. Um, screw downs were the rage in the late 80s, early 90s. A lot of people still use them. Um, probably one of the worst things and most dangerous things to be putting high value cards into. Um, the pressure that people torque these down with with the screws. Um, foreign objects getting into the card, getting embedded into the card. And the worst part is the corners will get uh, compressed and get a gloss or a glaze on it. And if you're sending them in for third party grading, a lot of the third party graders will actually reject them as being altered. Um, you see this with a lot of the key cards from uh, from that era. So I've seen, I've seen Jordan cards where actually the red paint on the Jordan card actually sticks to the uh, screw down. So you can see even on this screw down here, there's some fibers on the edges from where the card was. Some of the cardboard uh, fibers from the edge. You can see it also on the bottom, outlining where it was. But luckily, this one seems to have survived. But a lot of times, you'll see some. You can't really see it on this, even if we did have it. But you'll see a little bit of glazing where it gets a little bit shinier on the edges from the uh, torquing of the screw down. And when you do these, let me just take one second here. Safest thing for these cards, believe it or not. Is a card saver one. As flimsy as it looks now, you get 10, 12 of these back to back, it becomes very sturdy, they fit easily in boxes, and uh, third party grading companies actually prefer the cards to be submitted in these CS1s. If you want to put them in a penny sleeve, risk damaging it, put it in, be my guest. Um, but anyway, it's a great collection, one that we were happy to have picked up, and uh, we'll be offering shortly via our eBay account. I want to thank you for joining us. Remember that JustCollect.com is always buying vintage sports and non-sports cards from 1879 to 1979, as well as select modern cards. Thank you.